welcome back to Travel with Roseanne. Thank you so much for clicking on and um, learning some more little tips and tricks. Today, I decided that we're gonna talk about handbags. What are the best handbags to use when you're traveling? Um, you know, sometimes that is <laughs> such a hard question because you wanna make sure that you bring the perfect bag that meets your needs and there's some things that you should look for in order to find that perfect bag. I like using the messenger bag because it goes over your shoulders, you don't have to worry about it, and um, your hands are free, and you don't need to worry about anything falling off your shoulders. So this is, one, this is a bag that I've used many times, and I really like this bag. And the reason why I like it is that it has two sides that open. So you have easy access to certain things that you might need. Your phone, maybe shove a water bottle here. <laughs> and this bag is big enough that you can put your um, few little gifts, items that you wanted to, care, to buy. Um, this is a nice size bag and I've really liked using this bag. There are other bags that I've used. I have my never full Louis bag. And this is a bag that I always bring on the airplane with me. In this bag is what I put under the seat in front of me where I have all of the items that I want to access when I'm on the plane. So I'll have my chargers, I'll have my, um, my whatever computer I want to use if I'm bringing my iPad or if I'm bringing my um, computer. I have um, food or snacks <laughs> or you know my, my sweater because I always bring, because I always, because I get so hot I like wearing a tank top and so I'll bring a sweater and a shawl and I bring those in here. Everything I want to access when I'm on the plane, I put in this bag. And sometimes I will put another purse in this bag so that I have my purse inside this bag. Um, some other bags that are fun to travel with, um, depending on what you need. I mean, one of the things that you need to think about when you're looking for a purse to tour with, to travel with, is what are the items that are the most important to you and what do you want to access easily? So one of the things would be, for me, I wear glasses. So I, I need to make sure I can put in my glasses case for my sunglasses. I want to make sure I can fit my wallet. I want to make sure that I can fit a water bottle in it. And I want to make sure that I can put any extraneous little things without it being so full that it kind of is hard to zip up. So this is a really cute sized bag. There's lots of bags around this size, but I don't like traveling with it because while it has you know plenty of room inside, a lucky penny in there, um, it doesn't have a side pocket, and um, I find it's too small. I mean, sometimes it's nice to have a smaller purse when you want to go out to dinner, but then this is too wide to shove into my into my suitcase, especially when you're trying to keep your suitcase not full of things you don't need. But a, a really good sized purse to bring as an extra purse would be something like this, where you can take this out to dinner if you wanted to do something a little bit less um, toury, but you wanna to go to dinner and you don't wanna carry a big purse. This is nice because it has a, um, a little pocket on the side and you could fit, you know, uh, you could fit your wallet and your phone and a lipstick in here but you don't have to worry about carrying too much. And this is small that you could shove it into your suitcase and have an extra little bag just in case you need it for a night out. Or if you're on a cruise, you know, you might wanna bring it to, the, um, to dinner on the cruise instead of carrying your big bag. The other bag I carry a lot is my backpack. Now, this is my favorite backpack to bring traveling. The only problem with it is that it's older and it doesn't have the side pockets for the water but I still love to bring this backpack and I use this on the airplane too. So what my plan is usually is to check a bag and, um, and then I bring this backpack with um, some items in it just in case. So I, if the bag doesn't make it to baggage claim, I have, I have what I need. I don't put a lot in here, but like for example, the trip that I'm going to be in, um, in Germany and uh, down the Danube is going to be cold. So I'm going to have my raincoat in here and I'm going to have my, my down jacket in here. I'm going to have a sweater and I'm going to have a few things just in case that I always have, you know, that I'm careful. Oh, there's, there's Nico. Oh, he wants to say hi. 
Hi everyone. <laughs> he's always he's always close to me. He's not far away. Anyway, I really like having this uh, bag, and I put this small little bag up on the overhead, and then I have my never full bag under the seat in front of me, and that way I have access to to what I need just in case something happens. Because um, I do like to check my bag. I have very, I think only one time, I think only one time in about, I don't know, 10, 15 years, I've never gotten my bag. And then I, I got it the next day. So I never worry about that. I know that I'm always going to have my bag. But I still like to prepare because it just makes good sense. Now, this is my newest acquisition. I bought this when I was in Venice. I couldn't help myself. It's a bar I love this bag and I'm probably going to be using this bag for the next 15 years. <laughs> it's got a beautiful pocket out here that I could put my, um, my phone and whatever else I need and it's magnetized and it's got a nice big inside where I could fit, I could fit lots of things in here and my water bottle and some purchases that I make. I really like that. Um, I have never had a problem with pickpockets or um, anyone trying to steal my bag. Um, I think what's really important is that when you're traveling, you make sure that you always, you know, hold on to your bag, even if you are having have it as a messenger bag like this. You know, you just hold on to it in the front of your body. Um, make sure that you don't look confused or you, you don't look like you don't know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, pretend you do. And then just, you know, go into a restaurant or, you know, go someplace where you can be protected and then you can look at your map or look at your phone. Um, you can always look at your phone because almost everyone does, but be aware of your surroundings and walk confidently and you probably won't get um, harassed. There's a lot of pickpockets out there. There's a lot of people wanting to steal from you, but you need to be aware of your surroundings, know where you're at, and, and, and just be cognizant. Keep your, keep your stuff closed. You can buy um, bags that are slash proof. You can buy bags that have RFID protection. You can, um, you know, do all of that, and that's fine, but the most important thing is to act confident be aware of your surroundings, hold on to your bag, you know, close to you, and um, don't look, don't stop on the middle of the road um, and, and, and then lose focus of where you're at. Just always kind of be aware and you'll always be fine, you'll be fine. Um, it's just, you know, you just need to pay attention to where you're at, that's the thing. And I have one last tip that I think uh, has been very helpful for me is inside my never full bag, which it's full, it <laughs> can be full. I carry an extra little bag. Um, you know, when you're traveling and you're out there and you only have um, your purse and you wanna buy something but then you don't wanna carry it around, I this has been helpful. You just throw your little purchases in here and when you get back to the hotel, you put it in your luggage and then you can just fold it, fold it up nice and easy. You may or may not, you may or may not use it, um, but it's small and it gives you a little extra in case that's um, something that you could use. And it even has a little tag that you can have. Um, you could put it on the outside of your purse. So those are a few things um, that I have found very helpful. Um, What's important is to realize and, and figure out what it is that's important for you to carry and then find a purse that fits that. And I hope that's been really helpful for you. And if there's any other questions that you have, if this was helpful, let me know. If you have any other tips, I'd love to know them because we're in this together trying to make sure we have the best time when we travel. And um, anyway, well, have a really great day and I will see you soon. Ciao for now. Bye.